Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and we are 18 days away from Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which is super, super exciting. And yesterday, there were actually all the achievements from the game leaked, and I'll have the link down in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself, along with all the images, which I will not be putting in this video, just in case of copyright. But keep in mind that if you want to check out what the images actually look like, it will all be linked down below in the description. So, there's 44 different achievements. There's campaign, multiplayer, zombies, and also Dead Ops Arcade. So we're gonna go through all of the different achievements. I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts specifically on zombies because obviously I'm a zombies channel and that's only what I care about right now at least. But I probably will end up going and getting all the achievements. I wanna get platinum on PlayStation 5 for this game, of course. So anyways, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start off with the campaign. So the first one is called Combat Recruit. Complete the single player campaign in any difficulty. Uh, so that's pretty standard. Next is Combat Hardened. Complete the single player campaign on veteran or realism difficulty. So we actually didn't know that realism was coming back. So that's definitely exciting as well. Next is going to be all of the different names of the missions and for each of them, you just have to complete it on any difficulty to get the achievement. So I'm just going to list off the different like campaign mission names. The first one is called Nowhere Left to Run. The next one is Fractured Jaw. The one after that is Brick in the Wall. The one after that is Red Light, Green Light. The one after that is Echoes of a Cold War. The next one is Desperate Measures. The one after that is End of the Line. The next one is Break On Through. The next one is The Final Countdown and Ashes to Ashes and then that is going to be all of them and then there's some side missions as well which seem really cool the first one is called chaos and there's another one called red circus uh so those look pretty standard when it comes to you know the different achievements or campaign missions there's not really that many uh so that's kind of interesting but i'm sure the campaign missions are going to be pretty awesome i'm definitely excited to see what they do so now there are some achievements that you have to actually do in the campaign missions so this is going to shed a little bit of light on like what you actually do. So the first one is called Fire Range. Shoot all of the targets on Main Street during America. So there's going to be some targets. The next one is keep your friends close. Perform body shield five times. So if you guys remember in the campaign mission that they showed, you could like kill an enemy and then use them as like a body shield, which was definitely pretty intense. The next one is Patriot Arrow. Kill an enemy with a secret weapon while zip lining during Yamatao. So you can actually shoot while using a zip line, which is pretty crazy. Uh, that sounds awesome. The next one is see all seven memory endings and play through all four paths and in prisoner. So there's going to be multiple different endings in the campaign, which is something I'm definitely very, very excited about. That seems really, really cool. Uh, the next one is explosive finish kill 12 enemies with explosive barrels while riding the server lift during Yamatao. So that's the exact same thing. There's a lift, I guess. We're going to be going to the top of a mountain, I'm assuming, and then probably zip lining down. Uh, so you just got to kill enemies with barrels. The next one is everyone. <laughs> There's like a lot more letters, N's and E's. And it says kill 25 enemies with the AC-130 during the rooftop defend. So we're going to be able to use an AC-130 in this game as well, which is awesome. Next one is the red door. Disobeyed Adler's order to go through the door. So I guess you just don't go through the door. The next one is Jack of all trades. Get five kills each with an LMG, SMG, AR, and a shotgun. That seems really, really easy. The next one is called kill 200 enemies with an AR. That's called Old Faithful. The next one is destroy all enemy vehicles and mortar teams while defending firebase ripcord. So that looks like pretty much all of the uh, campaign ones. I think there's like one or two more. The next one is blow up all trucks and guard towers on the approach to the monastery. Uh, so that one is called Scorched Earth 2. And the one before that was just Scorched Earth 1. So uh, now it is time for the multiplayer achievements. So... The first one is called the fixer get 200 eliminations in multiplayer that's really really easy the next one is get 10 squad white medals in fire team so these are just going to be from the looks of it just ones that you would get just by playing the multiplayer the next one is called mean machine get 100 kills as the driver 
pilot or passenger of a vehicle in multiplayer so like running people over and stuff that's pretty cool the next one is called go the distance win 50 matches of multiplayer that one's pretty simple as well the next one is called calling it in get 50 kills with lethal score streaks in multiplayer uh so just getting uh normal kill streak kills so now it is time for zombies guys we're gonna dive deep a little bit here the first one is called heavy metal and it says in die machine forge the pack a punch machine so we're actually gonna be building the pack a punch machine it looks like so that's pretty interesting obviously um i'm kind of curious to see how it's gonna be last time we built pack a punch was on transit so uh, a little worried but at the same time i think it might be pretty cool the next one is called carpe diem in die machine free the lost decompressive isotopic and strangement machine so that looks exactly like the wonder weapon that we saw in the trailer the picture once again i actually can't show them in this unfortunately you may see some pictures in the thumbnail but uh, unfortunately, I can't put it in the video. But it does look really cool. And all the links will be down below if you guys want to check it out for yourself. The next one is called Seal the Deal. And it says, in Die Machine, close the rift. So I think the rift is what's going to the Dark Aether. And that's where most of the enemies are going to be coming out of. So that definitely sounds really interesting. The next one is called Two Birds, One Stone. In Die Machine, kill the two split Megatons with one shot. There was some things that looked exactly like uh, the specialist zombies that we saw in the chaos story the elemental zombies and they split out and it looked really really cool i'll try to show an image on screen so we got to kill both of those with one shot i don't know how strong they're going to be but they're probably they sound pretty strong if you have to there's an achievement to kill two of them with one shot the next one is called socket to me and it says in zombies upgrade a skill so there are going to be skills in zombies which sounds really really interesting and the next one is called six pack and it says in zombies upgrade six perk skills to tier three so there's going to be three tiers per perk which is really really exciting and another thing that really gets me excited about this is essentially it's going to be like pro perks most likely where you actually have to unlock the upgrade and then do another upgrade unlock to get to the third tier and then once you do all those upgrades then you're actually able to use them that would be really really cool for me in general because if you complete all three tiers then you can hop in another game and you'll already have it unlocked that's how i hope it actually works so there's like some grind or some challenge that you have to do in order to unlock those better upgrades i think that would be really really cool because it would force a lot of people to really get invested in the story to use those upgrades which sounds really cool all right the next one is called nightmare at 20 feet in die machine kill 100 enemies without leaving the top of the crashed plane wing so obviously camping on the top of the plane kill 100 zombies that's pretty intense pretty cool as well uh the next one is called entomophobia and it says in die machine stay in the yard for 15 rounds so that doesn't seem too crazy uh, just staying out in the main area that's probably going to be the best area to like train up a little bit so we'll see how that goes the next one is one that i'm very very looking forward to seeing how this is going to work and it's called craft work and it says in die machine craft 14 different types of items in one match so there's going to be a lot of craftable items that we're going to be able to craft uh that just looks really really interesting are those going to be the things that we saw in the trailer where you like shot that orb down and it killed everything uh, our weapons going to be you know craftable specialists all that stuff it looks really really exciting i'm actually kind of excited to see how this is going to work in general so those are all of the zombies achievements for right now of course there's going to be some dark ops ones as well i would assume for like completing the easter egg and stuff like that because there was nothing about an easter egg or anything like that so that's definitely exciting but now it is time for dead ops arcade 3 as well which i'm also very very excited to talk about after beating dead ops 1 and 2 i think they're really going to go all out with 3 in general so the first one is called foul five piece and it says get a chain of five chickens strung together in dead ops arcade so you're going to be able to string chickens together as you guys know in dead ops you get a chicken kind of like a turret following you around which is pretty cool the next one is called survive the wild escaped from the deep dark wild so i don't really know how that's going to be but i guess it's leaving one of the levels 
The next achievement is called Reunited with Fidolina. And it says defeat the mama back and saved your dear friend. So it looks like we're going to be getting the mother of the cosmic silverback uh, called mama back. That's really, really interesting. Uh, the next one is called forever faded. Found your destiny in the room of fate. Of course, that's where you get like the different abilities. Next up is dungeon diver. And it says visit every corner of a deadly dungeon. So that seems like it's one of the levels and after that that is going to be all of the different achievements so far that we have for call of duty black ops cold war let me know if any of these interested you guys what your thoughts are of course and once again if you want to check out any of these i will link it down below so you guys can do that but overall this game is looking very very exciting i'm just very curious to see how zombies is going to play out we're only 18 days away now so it's going to be really interesting to see Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm probably going to end up uploading some more news related videos in the coming days because I'm just getting really, really excited and I'd like to share all the news that I can see with you guys as well. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. My name is Greg FPS, Zombies Extraordinaire. Peace out.